Hi everybody. It's me. It's my face. <laughs> I know you guys are probably used to me walking through the forest with my dogs. Um, I decided to mix it up a little bit. Hi everybody. What's going on? Happy Thursday. <laughs> um, anyways, I decided to mix it up a little bit and um, actually show my face. Imagine that. What? So today, on this lovely Thursday, I wanted to talk about boundaries. Um, I myself was not good at setting boundaries at all. I would have something in mind and then I, they would literally just go out the window. If someone was like, oh, but it's not that bad, let's just try it, I'd be like, okay, fine, like, whatever. Deep inside I was dying and I'm like, I knew I shouldn't have done this. Why did I do this? I feel like shit. Could never keep my boundaries. So I wanted to give you some guidelines on how to set boundaries and how to actually keep them. <laughs> I know, imagine that, right? Keeping your boundaries. What is that? Um, so here we go. This is how I set my boundaries and how I've developed a way that really works. And I love it, so I thought I'd share it. <laughs> so first of all, when you're thinking about your boundaries, you have to really get down to your why and why you're setting the boundary. How does it make you feel? What kind of negative things come up if your boundary was to be crossed or if someone was to come into that space? Um, and it ha you have to feel it, you have to feel you have to really commit to it. It doesn't have to be complicated or a long-winded explanation. Just something as simple as, you know what? Does make me feel good. That's my boundary. That's my threshold. Not gonna go over it. So for an example, um, my boundaries, a big one is alcohol. I have decided that I don't drink. I am sober. I know, shocker, right? Sober girl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I stopped drinking, or yeah, finally stopped drinking, I, you know, would go out and that boundary would be tested time after time after time. I mean, it still is. Every day, you know, everyone asks if I would like a drink. Probably once a day. It just happens. Boundaries are going to be tested their buttons that are going to be pushed so you know what you have to have a strong why it doesn't have to be uh, in depth or an epic explanation something as simple as it doesn't make me feel good not doing it perfect that's your why then step two let's figure out how you're going to deal with that how are you going to deal with when you, your boundaries are crossed or when you don't feel okay or you know when you can kind of feel yourself getting reeled back in. Um, an example of that is a client of mine uh, messaged me and she's like, you know what, everyone in my family smokes pot, even my parents. Everyone seems to think it's okay. You know, and that's that's hard. Like your whole family, everyone is, is doing it, so why shouldn't you? But my client felt this this boundary, this kind of like ickiness and this feeling that it just wasn't okay for her. So that is a major test. And that, so, what was I saying? Oh, how? <laughs> uh, so to deal with that, she just had to stand her ground and remember, remember your why um, and how to deal with that an example would be, you know, maybe you remove yourself. Maybe you just aren't hanging out when your family's smoking pot. Kind of as simple as that. If you it doesn't make you feel good, you're not down with it, hey, gotta check out. Gotta go for a walk. Gotta, you know, maybe go to a different room of the house. Or you know what? Just say no. Just a simple two-letter word, no. No, it doesn't have to be mean. No. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes it's hard to say no, but oh, it's so rewarding. It's so great. Um, another level, you could express your why. Express, you know, I don't feel like this is right for me. I don't think it's going to be beneficial to me. So I'm going to opt out. I'm not going to I'm not going to smoke pot with my family. Um, I know it wouldn't be smoking with your family, but yeah, the whole family is doing it. So God, why, why wouldn't it be good for you? Right? Yeah. If it doesn't feel good, it isn't good. So those are two steps that I use to really set my boundaries and how I implement them and how I make sure they're never crossed. So you got to stand your ground. You're going to be tested. Your boundaries are going to be tested every day by every different type of people. You just got to know what works for you. So let me know what you do if your boundaries are crossed or how you set your boundaries. Let me know what you do. I would love to know your tips and tricks. So I hope you guys have a great afternoon and a happy Thursday. Bye.